Domain squatting attacks are a serious threat to your domain names. In a domain squatting attack, a malicious actor registers a domain similar to one you control, with the intention of using that domain to intercept traffic intended for one of yours. Attackers can monetize this type of attack through extortion, credential harvesting, malware distribution, and damage to your reputation. These attacks are on the rise, as evidenced by double-digit statistics from the World Intellectual Property Organization, and those are only the cases that have been reported. You can use Swimlane to detect domain squatting, typo squatting, substitution squatting, and IDN homograph attacks. In a basic domain squatting attack, someone registers a domain before your organization and attempts to extort you for the rights of the domain. Attackers typically seek the top-level domain you are looking to register, like .com, but they will also take advantage of other TLDs, such as .net or .org, or any other popular ones you might wish to acquire. While this is illegal in many countries, it does not stop malicious actors. Typo squatting attacks use common typographical errors, such as missing or extra letters, adjacent key swaps, and similar typographic chicanery to attempt to hijack a portion of manually entered attempts to reach a target domain. This is commonly used by attackers to install malware or for credential harvesting attempts. Substitution squatting attacks exploit similarities in the standard ASCII alphanumeric set used for domains since the 1980s. Common examples are swapping a lowercase l for a capital I, swapping zero for a capital O, and other similar techniques. This is often used by attackers in phishing attacks where the attacker needs to ensure the link visually resembles the target domain. IDN homograph attacks exploit similarities in letters in different languages to take advantage of different character sets and different computer character codes. This technique allows attackers to create squatting domains that are so visually similar as to be indistinguishable. In some instances, they are even pixel for pixel identical, but have entirely different destinations. For example, this Russian letter exactly resembles a Latin A in many fonts. This technique is generally used in phishing or other hyperlink-based attempts, since the links often look pixel-perfect. In this use case, Swimlane enables you to automatically detect any newly registered domains that match your criteria, monitor those domains for variations, and gather metadata and snapshots of the domain's landing page as it changes. This ensures that your analysts are able to evaluate a suspect domain immediately and determine whether or not it is a malicious attempt at domain squatting. Newly registered domains are ingested from the registrars on a daily basis and compared against the target domains you wish to monitor. When domains resembling the target domains are discovered, they are stored as potential squatting domains, and a snapshot is attempted. Snapshots are attempted daily and compared to previous snapshots to look for any substantial changes. Many of these potential squatting domains remain dormant until weaponized. If new activity or changes are detected for the potential squatting domain, Analysts are alerted to evaluate the new snapshot. Thank you, Nick. That is a great overview of why this use case is so valuable and what it can do. Let's look at some specific examples where Swimlane has been set to monitor the domains Hotmail.com, Outlook.com, Facebook.com, and Skype.com. These first several hits were registered almost immediately. As you can see from the Administrator Overview dashboard, many of these are benign, but there are also several that are currently unknown and need further analysis. This domain matched our search for Outlook.com, but does not appear to be a squatting domain and can be marked as benign. We can also disable daily scanning for any domain that we do not want to continue checking. This domain matched our search for Hotmail.com, and while it does not currently resolve to an IP address, domains can become weaponized at any moment and begin resolving. Swimlane will continue to check this domain and provide an updated result with analyst notification when a change is detected. This domain matched our search for Facebook.com and does resolve to an IP address, but no snapshot is available since the server is not yet hosting a web page. An analyst can still use the current snapshot tab to review details and see if there is enough information to make any determination yet. This one could certainly be marked suspicious for now, and Swimlane will update the report of new activity 
for any changes to suspicious domains when something is detected. This domain matched our search for Facebook.com and looks like an attempt at domain squatting. To further investigate this, an analyst can review the details automatically retrieved by Swimlane to determine if there is a concern with the domain. The Overview tab provides a quick view of the details about the potential squatting domain, the monitored domain that it matched, the matching methods used, details about the snapshots, and more. The Current Snapshots tab provides the most recent screenshot. The Threat Intelligence tab provides daily threat intel lookups of the domain on the left side, and on the right side, threat intelligence lookups of the links and associated domains found on the page. The Request shows the full set of requests issued to gather and display this page, including the URL, response code, and data type returned. Below that is a view of all the domains contacted, IPs contacted, countries contacted, and URLs requested. Certificates and Servers displays the certificates information retrieved when the page is loaded. The certificates being loaded and where they are from could show attempts at cross-site scripting and certificates that do not match the actual site. Below that are the server technologies used on the site. The Links tab will show any links that appear on the page. This one does not currently have any. The HTML DOM tab provides a view of the page HTML, where you can see more of what is going on with the actual content served by the site page. As a domain is monitored in this use case, if the site changes between scans, a new snapshot is taken and stored in the saved snapshots. You can see how this site has changed between the snapshots. The WHOIS Information tab enables a comparison of the WHOIS data for the suspect domain on the left and the monitor domain on the right. Obviously, this squatting domain is not a valid site, and the difference in the registrars is just one other indicator of the malicious nature of this site. In addition to the WHOIS information automatically populated by Swimlane, the abuse contact email is automatically parsed out of the WHOIS information and added to the takedown recipient field below making it easy to initiate a takedown request if necessary. The Takedown Information tab is where that can be done. By setting the analyst verdict to malicious, a new button is added to the Overview tab providing the option to send the takedown request. Other buttons on the Overview tab can turn off the daily scanning of a domain, initiate a new scan of the site to see if it has changed significantly and a new snapshot is needed, and trigger a new snapshot even if the domain has not changed enough for a new snapshot. Clicking the Send Takedown Request button will generate the email for the takedown request that can be seen on the Takedown Request tab. Analysts can document anything they need to about this domain on the Analyst Notes tab. This Swimlane use case enables you to easily automate domain squatting detection, a process that is effectively impossible to do manually. Swimlane alerts you when squatting domains need your analyst attention, enabling your analyst to focus on analysis of the automatically retrieved information rather than manual, time-consuming investigations. For more use case examples and how Swimlane can help your organization get the most out of your security tools, please visit us at swimlane.com.